everybody, Carol from Segovia Quilts here. Today we're going to be putting together a quilt top for a client out of t-shirts. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a work with me video. Um, I know I've gotten a couple of messages and emails saying that people would just like to see what a regular day here at Segovia Quilts is like. Go ahead and keep watching. So I'm unpacking all of the blocks that my client sent me and first I start off by measuring each block and making sure that it'll fit size-wise. Um, for this particular quilt top, I'm doing all of my blocks in a measurement of four. So the blocks need to be either four by four, eight by eight, eight by 12, any measurement of four. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just measuring it against my mat and if it needs to be trimmed off, which most of these do end up needing to be trimmed off a little bit, maybe like a half inch, quarter inch. Um, so that's what I'm doing, making sure everything is going to be one consistent size. Now for this particular block, this one was actually a little short. Um, it wasn't big enough to fit my size, but there wasn't enough for me to be able to cut off to get it to be a four by four. So I just cut a strip of fabric from one of the leftover shirt pieces and I'm just attaching that here. And now this particular shirt needed some extra interfacing on the back, so I'm adding that here. And now I'm just kind of hitting all of the blocks with a quick iron just to make sure that everything is nice and flat. This one had a little fold in it. The client um, put the interfacing on and there was a little bubble so I just kind of fixed that. And I'm putting a Teflon sheet over each shirt just so the iron doesn't damage the design on the shirt. Now I can start working on my layout. So that gray block with the little piece of paper on it, um, my client just annotated that that needs to be the center block. So I'm starting with that one and I'm laying everything out around it. So here I'm just kind of spreading out the blocks based on color, just because I don't want like the two yellows to be next to each other or two maroons or reds to be next to each other. And now I'm actually working on the placement where the blocks are going to be. Alright, and that looks good. So now I'm measuring what the quilt's going to be once it's finished and I'm just checking with my client to make sure that that size is good. And now I'm filling in all of the empty spaces with the leftover t-shirt fabric. And now we can start putting it together. I use my red snapper clips to um, put the blocks together just to make sure I sew the correct block to the correct block and it's the right orientation. This particular quilt top wasn't too terribly big. I don't even think it was a lap size. It was a little bit smaller than that, so it went together pretty quickly. All right, so that is it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes sneak peek of what it's like when I'm putting together a quilt top for a client. Um, again, this was just the top. This is not the entire quilt. Um, I've done several tops for this particular client and she is actually a quilter herself but she doesn't do t-shirt quilts. <laughs> so I handle all of her t-shirt quilts and then she does all of the quilting herself. So this is just the top. It went together very quickly. It was a beautiful top. The colors went very, very well together. Hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel yet, please make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and make sure to come back next time and see what we're getting up to in the sewing studio.